As I've gone around speaking to people over the last several weeks, one of the things that's come up a lot is a conversation about leadership. A lot of people feel, like me, that what we've done over the last 20 or 30 years is we've got much better at training managers than we have leaders. Whether that's in the commercial world, the private sector or public life, what we're really good at now these days is gathering information, recording what we do, monitoring what people do, having real time live data and information so that we can manage people's behaviours and manage people's activities. But when we're talking about compassion, when we're talking about what government does, well, that isn't about management. What government does, politics is about feeling. The NHS isn't a policy, it's a feeling. Crime, yes, we feel afraid, we feel concerned, yes, we think that there's answers to it, but the reality is it's a feeling, the feeling of safety that we want to have. Leaders give you those feelings. Managers don't necessarily do that unless you passionately believe in the data and the information that they're sharing with you, being an accurate reflection of how you feel as well as how you behave. And those two things aren't always the same. That's why when people like Boris Johnson and Donald Trump come along, what they do really well is they just ignore the system. They decide that the system's silly, they don't want to be a manager, they want to be a leader, and so they ignore the system. At that point, the system has no idea what to do, and actually what it does is it gives them everything that they want. And I'm not saying that's a good or a bad thing. Donald Trump wanted everyone talking about Joe Biden being corrupt, and he wanted his name cleared. And ultimately, the system gave him exactly that. It amplified the arguments against Biden. Biden came forth in the first of his elections uh, for the candidacy. And Donald Trump is still just as popular with the people who liked him before, and probably still just as unpopular with people who didn't like him. In the UK, we did the same thing. Everyone was convinced that the system, the process, the structure, the rules wouldn't allow Boris Johnson to simply have an election. But in the end, Parliament didn't know what to do and he ignored them, so they gave him an election fought on the rules that he wanted to fight under the system that he wanted to fight pretty much in the time scale that he wanted to fight it that's what happens and people see that as leadership but people confuse management for leadership but they also confuse one other thing for leadership or two other things they think that decisiveness and decision making mean that you're a strong leader they don't they just mean that you're decisive it doesn't mean you make the best decisions it doesn't mean you've got people's best interests at heart now neither of these are a judgment on trump or boris johnson just my attempt to explain why i passionately think we need to be thinking far more about our communities developing leaders and leadership qualities rather than managers and management. And that goes all the way through the system because if you're involved in politics, you'll know that political parties use data and information and management systems all the time and they train people extensively in that. But we don't train people quite enough in becoming community leaders, family leaders, business leaders, political leaders. I think we need to do more of that.